When you guys come in for checkup, on your math worksheet, it will also tell you what your antibiotic is that you're going to be administering. And it will tell you um, how many mils an hour you're going to use. So with a piggyback, I always want to make sure that my primary bag is lower than my piggyback. And so I take my little blue hanger. I then take my piggyback bag. Now, piggyback, I want it to go above the pump because I want the pump to infuse it. So I take my alcohol and I clean it for 15 seconds. I then have to stop the pump, so I hit stop, I hit review program, it then says program secondary, I click on that. Now it says type in the first two letters of your drug, and you would know that based off your worksheet that you would get, so I'm just going to type in C, E, and for practice right now, I'm just going to pretend that it's cefazolin. So I then scroll down to cefazolin. And I would know that based off of what's on my bag and my orders. Based off everything else, I would know is it a 2 gram and 100 mils or 1 grams and 50? And I hit OK. Now it says, are you sure that this is what you want to do? I hit yes. And then it gives me the trade name, which is Ancept, and I hit OK. The other thing I want to do before I actually even start all this is I want to make sure that my medication I'm going to give is compatible with my primary bag. That would be my very first step. So, back, this is my secondary bag. Yes, OK. It already has the rate per mil in there. I think that's great. That's what I want to use. I hit OK. Now, Secondary volume to be infused should be equal to the secondary bag volume. Yes. So, there's 100 mils in here. I want to plug 100 mils. If the pharmacy's added 5 mils to it, I want to put 105 in. And you know that by the label on the bag. So there's 100 mils in the bag. And I hit OK. Now, it then comes up with a prompt that says you want to um, have a sec you want to have a callback. And yes, you want to have a callback. Because every time you are um, hanging an antibiotic, every time you are giving a med by an IV, you have to um, date stamp it in the computer or on the chart of when you started it and when you stopped it. So what I do here is I undo my roller clamp. I hit run. I then want to make sure that my piggyback is infusing and my primary is not. And it is, so I hit OK. And now we're going.